I hadn't shot any 35 millimeter in quite a long time. And a while back I did a poll for which format you guys shoot the most and it was like 70% of you guys voted 35 millimeter. So I thought it would be only right if I include some 35 millimeter content onto the channel. And I wanted to start out with the Eastman double X film because well, for one, it's a cinema film. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I noticed this film is pretty tricky. It's like, I think the development times online are a little bit too long because this film's pretty touchy and it seems like the highlights are too dense from the normal development that's listed. So I definitely think upon shooting it again, I curve that time back a little bit. And here's what I mean with the film. I think overall the shadows look fine, the exposure is okay, but the film just looks a little bit overall, a little bit too dense. And I think with a little bit less development time, you could curve that back a little bit. And probably of course too, you can pull that back in, in Lightroom or Photoshop, but I usually like to get the exposure as correct as possible as I can with the development. I noticed in the film Malcolm and Marie, there's a lot of shots where the shadows are really deep, like almost black. And at the same time, the highlights are extremely dense. So I think naturally, this film is super contrasty. So that's what makes it a little bit tricky to work with because you don't have a lot of room to play with. If your shadows are exposed too high, you're gonna get super dense highlights. Another couple things I wanted to check out with this film too was for one, the sharpness. I wanted to see how well you can like read text and stuff through the image. And surprisingly, it's really sharp. And it's also really grainy, but not in like an unpleasant way. I developed this in Xtal one to one. So of course it's gonna be a finer grain, but the grain is super dense and it's very visible, but I don't know. I kind of like the, the dense grain on this film. Double X is definitely not a film you can just pick up and shoot like it's any other film. You have to be a lot more mindful when you're shooting this one. I think if you're more careful, this would, this film would end up looking really good because of that grain structure and because of the contrast, which I like, but it's really sensitive. So you'd probably have to tailor your developing and your exposures and the lighting just right to get this film to look its best. I think this is a really good example of how strong that contrast really is. You can see on the books, the lighting was actually pretty soft. It wasn't super intense and the books, the pages are like blown out are super dense and his eyes are super bright white. You can definitely bring those highlights down on the pages in Lightroom, but I'm not sure how much detail is actually on the negative. So who knows what's actually there. Here's a shot from Malcolm and Marie where I think double X is looking its best. This scene has a full range of tones. And there's definitely a strong contrast present here, but it's not overly done and the highlights still have plenty of detail. If you drop in a zone chart, you can take a look around and get a feel for all the tones that are represented in this image. And there's actually quite a bit of detail and tonal range here. I think this film kind of gets a bad rep because people shoot it and they're like, what the heck? It's not very fast, but it's super grainy. And some of my shots look good and other ones are kind of blown out. Kind of just looks all over the place and people just kind of dismiss it immediately. If you're going to shoot this film, you got to shoot a few rolls and see how it exposes and see how it reacts with your developer of choice, because you're definitely going to have to tailor your developing around this film. My final thoughts in this film. I like it a lot. I think it's got a really great look. I like that really dense grain and I do love the contrast, but if you're going to shoot this, shoot a roll first and find that sweet spot for your developing and then you can go into a shoot with it. Have you guys shot double X before and what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments and we'll see you guys next time on 